came here today to kill zombies and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. It is officially October. We at ElderGeek.com absolutely love horror in all of its forms. And what better way to start the month of our favorite holiday than with one of our favorite downloadable zombie games, Burn Zombie Burn. <laughs> Burn Zombie Burn released on the PlayStation Network on March 26, 2009, but very recently it was made available to PC gamers through Steam on August 12, 2010. At its core, Burn Zombie Burn is really nothing more than an arena shoot-'em-up. Gamers play from the top down and kill as many zombies as possible before eventually being overtaken by the infinite waves of zombies. In order to gain point amplifiers, the zombies must be set on fire first. Zombies are highly flammable, and when one inflamed zombie touches another, the fire will spread. While burning or burnt zombies are worth more points, they also move much faster and hurt a lot more when they strike the main character, Bruce. To help mow down the endless hordes of zombies, Bruce has a horror movie-inspired arsenal ranging from the standard zombie-slaying shotgun, the lawnmower from Dead Alive, to a ray gun that makes the zombies dance in unison like from the Thriller video. Even Bruce himself is inspired by B-movie star Bruce Campbell, as apparent by the unmistakable chin. His voice, on the other hand, sounds a bit more like George W. Bush. It's time to paint this town red. Blood red. Burn Zombie Burn is an addictive little shooter that brings a lot of challenge to the table. It's fun, it's funny, and we guarantee you that you'll be eaten alive a lot more often than you'd like. There's no regenerating health, and the health power-ups are few and far between. Don't be ashamed if you have to put it down to casual difficulty level just to get the hang of the game. Just don't tell anybody that you weren't good enough to beat it on normal difficulty. This is a great game to put in front of one of your friends that thinks they're the greatest gamer of all time. Despite its playful art style, Burn Zombie Burn will put hair on your chest, whether or not you want it there. It's fast, it's hectic, it's a hell of a lot of fun. We only have a few complaints about Burn Zombie Burn. First, the mouse and keyboard configuration doesn't quite feel right. It's functional, but if you own a controller for your PC, use that instead. The music is okay at first, but after a few playthroughs, you'll end up turning it off to hear your own music. And finally, we really wish this could have been co-op multiplayer. As it stands, for only $10, we can easily rate this one worth buying. And since there is also a demo available, we can recommend checking it out for yourself before you buy. So start your Halloween season off right, by burning the hell out of some zombies. To celebrate Halloween, it's sort of a tradition here at ElderGeek.com that every Friday in October we try to review a different horror game. We call it our Friday Night Creature Feature. Be sure to swing by the site to check them out. 